You see this furry little rock? That's not fur. That's also rock. That's asbestos. Amicite asbestos from South Africa on this episode of Asbestos Artifacts. As we've talked about in other videos, the word asbestos comes from ancient Greek, meaning unquenchable. But today the word refers to six types of rocks, and the reason they get grouped together is that they have similar properties. Probably the most famous quality they have in common is that they're resistant to fire. Incredibly resistant. A house fire is about 600 degrees, and asbestos doesn't begin to break down until about 1200 degrees, depending on which of the six types of asbestos you're talking about. This particular type of asbestos is anisite, which has a particularly high thermal resistance and doesn't break down until about 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. This resistance to heat and flame makes asbestos useful for all kinds of products for a few reasons. It can be engulfed in flame and still do its job. That's why one of the first uses of asbestos was as a wick for an oil lamp that could burn and burn without degrading or disappearing. Asbestos wicks were used in products of all kinds, including Zippo lighters. The next thing that heat resistance does is it prevents heat from escaping. One of the first modern industrial uses of asbestos was to insulate steam boilers. Asbestos fabric can get hot without catching fire or melting, and it won't easily let heat escape. So if you need to keep water hot, it makes a good material to wrap around a boiler. Asbestos can also prevent heat from reaching things that can be burned. That's why asbestos was used in fire blankets and as suits to protect firemen as early as the 18th or 19th century. But there's still another reason that asbestos rock types are very unusual and extremely useful to people trying to make things. And that reason is clear on this asbestos artifact. Unlike most rocks, asbestos breaks down into fibers. Now, a lot of plants do this. The ancient Egyptians and Greeks and Romans wore cloth called linen made from fibers of the linseed plant. And cotton, of course, is still extremely popular for making thread and fabric today. Sheep's wool is still common too. But there aren't too many Christmas sweaters made of rocks. There is Christmas snow made of rocks though, asbestos rocks, and we covered the artificial Christmas snow on another episode. Some asbestos fibers are microscopic, smaller than human white blood cells. In fact, in a square inch, you could fit about 500 human hairs or a billion asbestos fibers. When you breathe or swallow tiny asbestos fibers, they can embed and do enormous damage over time, including destroying the white blood cells trying to prevent disease and cancer. Those tiny fibers bundle together into larger asbestos fibers, like the white fur you see here on this asbestos artifact. But even within the six asbestos types, the exact makeup of other minerals like silica and iron can differ, so asbestos fibers not only come in different sizes, but some are stronger and some are more brittle. One kind, called chrysotile, is curled, and that's what gets woven into asbestos fabric. It's also white when processed, and sometimes little and fluffy, and that's the kind that Hollywood used to use for its Christmas snow made of asbestos rocks. But this kind of asbestos, amosite, is unusual. It's actually named after the first place it was found, though not exactly intentionally. The correct scientific name for this mineral is grunerite. And not all amosite comes from South Africa. A lot comes from Russia and other places. But large deposits of this kind of asbestos were mined in South Africa. The packages were labeled as Asbestos Mines of South Africa, with the letters A-M-O-S, and the name amosite stuck. South Africa is notable as a source of asbestos for many reasons, including the abysmal record that the asbestos industry has there. Another reason is that South Africa has large deposits of all three of the most popular types of industrial asbestos, including amosite, which bears its name. The reason is that Southern Africa has some of the oldest geological formations on the planet. South Africa specifically has a large mountain range called Witwatersrand. The Witwatersrand Basin is an underground area containing the world's largest deposit of gold as well as a lot of ultramafic rocks. Ultramafic rocks are minerals that formed when the Earth's crust was formed under intense heat, which helps form minerals like gold and diamonds. Asbestos also forms in ultramafic rocks, often looking like this furry block right here. The rich, rare mineral formations also explain why Southern Africa has been such a target for outside actors to come in and try to mine it, which is presumably what helped inspire Marvel's vibranium in Black Panther's Wakanda. Not all asbestos fibers are small. Many asbestos fibers are long and extremely strong. In fact, some types of asbestos have a higher tensile strength than steel. That means a strand of asbestos would hold more weight than a strand of steel. That's why amosite was added to a lot of materials like concrete to strengthen them. 
Amosite has the added bonus of extremely high heat resistance, so the concrete becomes much more fireproof. No wonder asbestos was used for so many products. The truth is, there are a lot of amazing uses for asbestos, and it's possible that they could have been used in a safe way. Unfortunately, the asbestos industries decided to hide what they knew about its dangers and not have an honest conversation with people about what this stuff is and whether its benefits outweighed the risks. But even the long fibers can break down into smaller fibers that can be inhaled and cause damage over your life. By the time people found out what they were breathing and the damage it was causing, the problem was out of control and there were too many injured people for the asbestos companies to contend with. Fortunately, the reason we know the temperatures that asbestos breaks down and finally loses its integrity is because new methods are being invented to dispose of all of the leftover asbestos. And there are definitely some promising results that asbestos can be heated to high enough temperatures that it breaks down into less harmful substances that can be disposed of. I've even seen a story about some jewelry pendants being made of asbestos that was rendered inert, and we'll see if we can get one of those for another asbestos artifact. I think I'll wait for that instead of putting this rock on as a necklace. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm asbestos attorney Justinian Lane with Asbestos Artifacts.